Mr. Speaker, thank you. And uh, of course, just to briefly bring about, um, to say thanks on behalf of the vulnerable population of St. Lucia. And of course, I've heard so many reasons why this investment is necessary. But of course, it is the same Prime Minister who plays back the distress fund. And of course, I am aware, based on my long-standing relationship at the Ministry of Equity, that the distress fund certainly has gone towards assisting fire victims. This investment, in a serious way, impact a group of individuals who disproportionately has been affected by fire more than anybody else. And the fire um, officials who were here some time ago, I asked them to provide me with data on the number of fire victims we have in St. Lucia that has not recovered from fire. And I am happy that this investment is being made. At a time when our vulnerable population make use of wooden, wooden homes, plywood structures, also these are the individuals who sometimes are got, get disconnected because they're unable to pay their, 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 light, their light bill, electricity bill, and have to use alternative form of lighting their homes. All of that contributes to the risk, the environment in which they live. And there are times that when there's a fire, the fire service is not on time or probably delayed or probably do not have means of accessing the homes. And of course, you have an entire situation, you know, families being affected. But also, Mr. Speaker, there seemed to be almost a season when this thing happened. Because when you have one, then within a, you know, within a short um, time frame, you could have a number of homes being affected and a number of vulnerable people. Um, become victims of um, become victims of this this sort of um, man-made or, or disaster of, of that kind. So I'm happy that the investment is being made. I'm also happy to to hear that psychosocial support is being made to the fire department. But in training, I would like for the fire professionals to consider providing some psychosocial support, of finding the victims to have access to psychosocial support because the fire victims has hardly ever recovered from the research shown and they're most times just provided with a kit. I would also like the fire service to find ways of providing the fire report a lot earlier to those fire victims because without that report, they cannot have their, 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 their ID cards, their passports, and, um, I, and the, distress, the distress fund cannot be activated to get them back on their feet. So with all of that investment being made, I would like for the fire service to consider the vulnerable population in terms of how they respond. I am extremely happy that the Prime Minister has mentioned that he's removing this um, amount for ambulance services. Mr. Speaker, this morning, just listening to the presentation made by the Prime Minister, the borrowing for the fire service, the announcement by the, by the, by the Prime Minister, I'm sure that person, in, person listening this morning are extremely happy for the investment by the fire department because we know it will impact vulnerable population in a positive way. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this brief remarks.